What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to find the most important features when making a prediction in machine learning using random forests in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn in this video today how to figure out which features are particularly important and relevant for machine learning tasks for making accurate predictions when doing machine learning in Python. And for this, we're going to look at feature importances of random forest classifiers, which is a simple way to do that. Now, there are other ways as well, but this is a very easy way, and I'm actually using it in a project right now where I have multiple data sets and I have to figure out the most important features across data sets, or at least this is what I'm trying to figure out, and I'm using exactly this uh, technique, if you want to call it that looking at the feature importances of random forest classifiers. So it's simple, but it's also useful. It's not just something that you can easily do and no one uses it. I'm actually using it in a project myself right now. So we're going to get right into the code. But before that, we're going to install the packages that we're going to use in this video today. If you don't have them installed, just open up your command line and say pip or pip three, depending on your installation install and then um, pandas, seaborn, and of course, scikit learn. Those are the three packages that we're going to use in this video today. Uh, even though seaborn and pandas are actually not really necessary, we're just using them to, uh, to show a little step in between. So those are the three packages and the imports are now going to be first of all, import pandas as PD, import seaborn as SNS, and then import or actually from sklearn dot data sets. Now for this video, you can also choose to use any other data set. Uh, just make sure it's either already usable right away, or you have to pre process it, you can use whatever data set you want, whatever machine learning task you want. Um, it will work the same way. The basic idea is you train a model on a data set, and then you can easily just get the feature importances from this uh, random forest classifier. So from SQL learn data sets, I'm just going to use the classic uh, breast cancer data set. So load breast cancer is going to be the function, then from SQL learn dot ensemble, I'm going to import the random forest classifier, and then from SQL learn dot model selection, I'm going to import the function train test splits, just so we can split the data into training and testing sets so that we know that the model is actually a useful model, because I don't really care about the feature importance of a model that doesn't know how to predict anything. Uh, so we want to evaluate it as well. And I'm going to say now data equals load breast cancer, then I'm going to say x and y is equal to data data and data target. This is just how this is structured. And then we're going to do a simple train test split x train, x test y train, y test is going to be equal to train test split of x and y with a test size of 20%. So 0 0.2. Um, Alright, so that is our data now. Now we can take a look at the data description. For those of you who don't know the data set, we have some feature names here. I don't really know what they mean. Those are medical uh, quantitative values. So just numbers that represent something uh, medical about a tumor. Um, and then we also have the classification, which is the target here, target names, which is either malignant or benign, we want to know is this actually a malignant uh, cancer? Or is this a benign tumor? Uh, that is the whole goal here. And one means it's benign, as far as I understand, I think, yeah, that's, that's true. Um, so the idea now is to figure out when we train a classifier on this, when I train a random forest classifier on this, what are the important things? Are there features that are completely irrelevant that I can actually uh, consider unimportant? Are there features that are very, very important? How do I figure this out? And one thing that um, I sometimes do, and it's not necessarily always uh, a good thing to do. But oftentimes people look at correlations with a target variable. This is not the same as feature importance, you're going to see that the values are going to be different. Just looking at the correlation between all these uh, features and this target variable is not enough to, to understand which features are the most important features. So I'm going to show you uh, what we get here if we do it like that. This is why we use pandas and seaborn just to show that what I can do is I can say df equals and I can make a data frame based on the data, I can just say data data is going to be the data. And then the columns are going to be data dot feature names. And then I can just say 
that the column benign is going to be equal to data target. Um, and basically I can then just print it. So this is now a pandas data frame here uh, with the data and I can also use the correlation method. So I can just call correlation and I'm not interested in all the correlations. I'm only interested in, or actually this is why we imported Seaborn. We can also visualize all of that. So I can say correlation and the color map is for example, cool warm, just so we can visualize that if you're interested in this. Um, but it's actually enough to just get the correlation with a target variable here. So we can actually go ahead and say DF correlation. And I'm only interested in the correlations with, uh, oh, actually, benign like this, benign. And then I get all the correlations. Of course, now I can also sort these values. So what I can do is I can just call the uh, sort values function. But before I do that, it's important to say the importance of a feature is an absolute value. So even if it's very negatively influencing the target variable, it is important in absolute terms. So what I want to do is I want to apply, first of all, the apps function, and then I want to sort the values um, in descending order. So ascending equals false. I think this is how you do that in pandas. There you go. So you can see here, those are the correlations, you can see a very high correlation with this um, feature here and a very low correlation with this one. So almost no correlation. Now, again, since we took the absolute value, we don't know if it's a negative correlation or a positive one. But in absolute terms, it means that it's highly correlated either negatively or positively. So that's the correlation, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in actual feature importance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say CLF equals random forest classifier. I'm going to set the end jobs parameter to negative one. This just means that we're using all the course. I always do this just to speed up the process. And then we're going to fit the classifier on X train, Y train. So on the training data. And this is immediately done. And then we can just score this to see if we get some reasonable performance here. And in this case, we get 95% accuracy, maybe if I do this again, I'm going to get even higher 94. Okay, that's actually lower 96. That's good. So we have a pretty decent model here in this case. Um, and what we can do now, this is quite simple is we can access directly the feature importance. So I can say CLF feature importances, and I get the values, the importances of each individual feature. Now to make this more readable to make this uh, more intuitive, what I can do is I can use a fancy dictionary comprehension, key and value. So K and V for K and V in sorted. Um, and in here now I'm going to zip together these values with the feature names from above. So I'm going to because they're the same positions. This one is the first one, the second one, so this one is the first one, the second one. And now I can just go ahead and zip them together. So I can say zip. Um, and then uh, what was it data dot feature names, and then CLF dot feature importances. Now the important thing is, of course, I want this to be uh, sorted. So I have to sort it by a certain um, by a specific key and the sort key is going to be a function, it's going to be a lambda expression. And this lambda expression is basically going to say, uh, so now I have to say actually key equals lambda, uh, lambda takes x, which is going to be the tuple. And then we're going to take the second value sort of index one. And I also want to have reverse equals true. All right, so this makes sense now. Um, and there you go. This is how you get the feature importances. You can see this one seems to be the most important feature, which is not I think what we got uh, here, or is it actually it is okay, it seems to be the most correlated the highly correlated feature and the most important feature. Uh, but the second one, for example, the worst area here is the second most important feature, but it's not the second uh, most correlated feature. In fact, it's down here. So you can see it's not exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, this is how you get the feature importances. And the idea is now if you have multiple data sets, and your question, your research question, or whatever you're trying to do is to figure out what is really important. What are the things that I need to focus on when trying to determine this? This is how you can do that with random forests and feature importances.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.